Happy first Wednesday of 2017. Crazy, guys. Um, I don't know if you stayed up and watched the ball drop, and we won't talk about the little Mariah Carey performance. Um, but I couldn't believe it. I, it just felt surreal that, yeah, it's 2017. I remember when 2000 was going to happen. Why 2K? Uh, maybe you're around then. And I can't believe it's been 17 years since then. So I am praying for you and your new year. Praying for what God has in store for you. And um, yesterday I was straightening up a bit after the holiday mayhem and <laughs> dropped a whole thing. I was going to hang up something and I dropped a thing of tiny, tiny nails, probably a thousand tiny nails. And I thought, hmm, I hope this is not a sign of the year to come. <laughs> um, I pick a word every year to kind of guide that that year. This year, my word God gave me was believe and through belief to really risk and take steps of obedience. When God says go, say yes. When he says do this, okay. Um, and to really deepen my trust and belief in him. And as I was reading Psalms today, Psalms 35 verse 27 says this. I'm looking down at my Bible. Uh, if you wonder why I started looking down. Great is the Lord who delights in the welfare of his servants. And sometimes the enemy he tries to lie to us, just like he did with Eve, and say that God cannot be trusted, he's not good, he's not looking out for you, and that we need to make our own plan um, for the new year, or we need to step into the new year with fear. And this is so powerful. Great is the Lord who delights. That word delight is such a fun word. He loves, he gets excited about, he enjoys, he brings pleasure. Um, and the welfare of his servant, of his people, of his son or daughter who's watching this right now. He delights in you and your welfare. So he is good. And this year, as you step in and believe and risk and trust, he is delighting in what he's doing in your life. He is with you and he is for you. Happy New Year.